there's a there's a 359 down here that was originally specced for Johnny Cash. The guy has the paperwork that Johnny Cash specced the truck, ordered the truck from Peterbilt, 359, all the original paperwork, and the truck's sitting right down here. some money i'd try to buy this truck i was like dude if i was the guy who owned this there's no amount of money you could i wonder me. i wonder you know what we should do we should just see if there is a number i mean i, I know i don't have enough money for it but <laughs> I, what's going on with the truck first of all to the asian my show i saw this sign right here and it said johnny cash sir is this really a truck that johnny cash was gonna buy or is this his truck what's the story sir it is a Johnny Cash order truck. Johnny Cash ordered it and never took delivery of it. But he, in fact, did order the truck. You know, we, we talked off camera, and maybe at one point we might be able to see it, but there was something with his name on it showing it as well that... I, I do have the bill sheet that shows Johnny Cash ordered the truck, yes, sir. I tell you, my father loves Johnny Cash, so all I have to say is I really appreciate this interview. Before anything, uh, please introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Charles Hale, and I'm from Russell Springs, Kentucky. No, I love it. You know, let's talk about the build a little bit and uh, see what we got going on here. Yeah, we'll walk around and just okay. talk about what we got going on, uh, what year truck and what spec. I know it's, it's all right here, but, you know. It's a 1985 Peterbilt, 359, uh, extended hood. Um, like, like we talked about earlier, it was originally ordered by Johnny Cash, and uh, Johnny did not take the truck because the factory Vera shield was omitted from the roof of the truck that bore his name on the wind deflector up there. So when Johnny turned the truck down, uh, my father purchased the new truck new in 1985. I tell you, no, I appreciate you. Now this is beautiful, 3408 Cat. Uh oh, we're starting to rain a little bit. Look at that interior right here. The, you know the interior is original in the truck. This is all original? Yes, sir. Sure is. How the heck do you keep it in the shape? Down to the original Eldorado VIP seat. It's it's original. Wow. I'm not going to get in, sir. About you're, you're more welcome. To no, I appreciate you. I'm just going to step right here. Look at that. This is amazing, it's beautiful. No, that's awesome, sir. When we're looking at this beautiful truck right here, you know, and your, your father bought it brand new, sir? Yes, correct. And you would think that he would never sell a truck like this, but what was the story behind that? My father sold it in uh, 1994. And uh, it went through a couple of owners, and an, a guy in Illinois wound up with the truck, and we were able to buy the truck back off of him uh, after my son found it on social media and got hooked up with, with this gentleman, and we bought it back off of him. Wow, he just saw it and said, that's, that's granddad's truck? Ver verified it by the VIN number. Wow, so this was something that was meant to be in the family? Well... I guess all the stars lined up and it, it was meant to happen and it did. So we wound up with the truck back and we're, we're, we're tickled with it and enjoy it. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams.